What's up YouTube, this is Dandy TCG here back with another video. And today guys, I thought I would do a quick profile on my Yangzing Metal Foe deck that I've been working on. Um, I actually just finished it tonight, so I just wanted to go ahead and get this video out real quick. So, um, I am missing a couple cards, so you can, you'll see some proxies in the deck, but I'm only, like, I when I say I finished the deck, I'm only short, like, a couple cards, so. And these are new sleeves, so they're slick as could be. So, anyways, on to the deck profile. Uh, for the Yang Zing Monsters, I run uh, three Jiao Tu, uh, three Chi Wen. These are your main tuners of the deck. Uh, mainly, actually, your main tuner is Jiao Tu, because of where, if you draw him first turn, you can, and if you have Yang Zing monsters in your hand, you can use his effect to uh, discard two Yang Zing cards from your hand. And uh, you send two Yang Zing cards from your hand to the graveyard and special summon one Yang Zing monster with zero attack and one with zero defense. So you automatically have a quick uh, synchro play. And then I, I max out as much as I can on my Yang Zing monsters because you always want to be uh, floating, to say. So. I run three Sawani, three BN, three Bixi, one Hulao, and then I run two Zephyr Nui. Um, I have one in the side deck right now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm tempted to cut this guy because there's multiple times where I just really don't ever use him, so. So that's it for the Yang Zing monsters. Just slide them up all the way if I can, without completely destroying my setup. There we go. <laughs> On to the Metal Foes monsters. Uh, I run two Metal Foes Volflame. I run two. Just hit the camera. Uh, two Gold Driver. Two Silvered, and then two Stealing. Um, I never really, when before I started playing this deck, I never really understood why you run Metal Foes with Yang Zings until I really realized Metal Foes' effect goes perfect with the Yang Zing deck and their destruction abilities. So I really just use these guys for the fusions and then just destroying my Yang Zing cards. So, main reason I always use them. So, um, on to the spells. I run two path. I mean, not two. I run three path. Sorry. Um, I run three Metal Foes Fusion because I just like... Yeah, you can recycle this card as much as you want because of where you can just cycle back from the graveyard and draw a card, but I just like seeing it more. So then I just run the one full Metal Foes Fusion just for the name. And then I run two Super Poly because uh, some of the fusions I have actually run well with super polymerization so and then for the last spell i run one pot of avarice because you flood the graveyard so quickly with this deck with monsters it's not a bad idea to actually have that in there so and then for you know traps i just run one combination if i was to take out uh zephyr new i would bump this up a little bit but right now i think it's good at one and then i run the one counter that's all you really need to run it at really so, and then just for last two traps, I run two infinite impermanence. Like I said, I'm just waiting on my second copy to come in. So that's why he's proxied. But yeah, that's the main deck. We'll go ahead and move on into the extra deck. Uh, for the synchro monsters, you run the one Chow Fang. Then you run two Baxia and one Yazi. Uh, these are your main four Yang Zings because, you know, Ding Long's banned. Uh, it's nice setting up a Yazi or a Baxia board with them not being able to be touched by spells and traps. So it's really nice. And then, you know, Yazi being able to be boosted up to 31 and Baxia being able to be boosted up to uh, 28. So really good for those. And then just for the non-synchro, like non-yangzing synchros, I run 
One, Draco Berserker the Tenyi, because he's actually a really, really good card. Uh, one, Scarlight Red Dragon Archfiend. And then one, Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Bear, because he's still a good card. You know, it's crazy to think that card's been out for so long, and he's he's still such a really good card in this day and age. But on to the Metal Foes part of the extra deck. I run two Crimsonite, because this is the card with... Uh, Super Poly that I was talking about because it requires two monsters with 3,000 or less attack and one Metal Foes monster. So you use Super Poly, take two of your opponent's monsters with 3,000 or less attack and one of your Metal Foes monsters, and boom, you clear their board and you have a 3,000 beat stick on the on the board. So really cool card. He's he's really easy to get out. So uh, then I run two Mithrilium. Uh, Mithrilium's mainly your main boss. Metalfoes monster because where you can target two Metalfoes cards in your graveyard and one card on the field and shuffle the targets from your grave into the deck and then return that target to the hand on the field to the hand. Really good. And so since you're not destroying or, or just sending it to the graveyard, just bouncing it back, it's really good. And if you send from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon one Metalfoes pendulum monster from your grave or face up extra deck. And if you guys don't know, almost all your Metalfoes monsters are all pendulums. And then for the last of the Metal Foes cards, I run one Alkahest, just because uh, the fact that he's able to take your opponent's monster during uh, their turn is actually really good. So, And then uh, Orichal, he's just there for another name, and he uh, lets all your yeah, Metal Foes monster, when they attack a defense position monster, they do double piercing damage. So, really good card. Um, I run... One relinquished anima because it's it's a good card helps disrupt stuff, and then the one card I'm missing is Halky Fibrex or Needle Fiber, because you know most you run six tuners in this deck, so he's able to target all of them. So, yep, that's it for this deck profile. If you guys did enjoy this, and if you guys have any kind of suggestions you'd like to leave me, please be sure to leave them in the comments down below. And if you did enjoy this video. Hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Your support is greatly appreciated, guys. Thank you.